Hello, beloved brothers and sisters. We are approaching a very special and magical day within the year, a day dedicated to honoring light, love, the abundance of our earthly existence, and a day for recharging our body, our mind, and our soul. Here in the Northern Hemisphere, on the 20th of June, Yellow Rhythmic Star, we'll be celebrating the summer solstice. But before I get into specifics about what the energy of that day will bring, let's talk a little bit about what the summer solstice is all about. The summer solstice marks the longest day within the year when the sun is at its highest altitude above the horizon, announcing the summer season. While in the springtime you've been planting seeds and starting new projects and embarking on new beginnings, the summer comes to bathe you in its sunlight so that you can see what the seeds of your hard work have grown into. The summer solstice signaled the beginning of the most abundant, bountiful and beautiful season where, in more practical terms, the seeds of the hard work of cultivating the land were sown. When the summer comes, it's finally a time to take a rest and to enjoy and taste and treasure and celebrate the abundance of the land. The word solstice comes from the Latin word sol, meaning sun, and sistere, which means to stand still. During the summer solstice, the sun reaches its highest point in the sky, as seen from the northern hemisphere, and seems to stand still. If we observe the procession of um, the equinoxes where the sun sets on the horizon day after day and it appears to move either towards the north or the south, around the summer solstice we would notice that the sun seems to um, set in the exact same position for three days in a row before it starts making its transit in the opposite direction. On this day, the tilt of the Earth, here in the Northern Hemisphere, is more inclined towards the Sun. The summer solstice always takes place between um, the 20 and the 22nd of June. During this day, we are bathed in the energy coming from the Sun, filling us with a lot of vitality and power. The Sun was considered by the Mayans to be a portal towards the galactic core, the cosmic central Sun, which they called the Hunabku. If you want to learn more about the galactic core and how the Sun is broadcasting energy and information coming from it, you can check out the videos um, Hunabku, the galactic core and the binary sunspot cycles. In the Mayan culture, the summer solstice was considered a major celestial event and it was a time of spiritual initiations and change. The shifting of the seasons came in with the promise of an inner shift, the spark that lights up the soul. The Mayan calendar is all about the cyclical rhythm of time. For them, each ending represents the foundation for a new beginning. And it's important to take into consideration that while the daytime lengthens each day gradually leading up to the summer solstice, after the solstice, the night once again begins dominating the daylight as the days gradually grow shorter. This is why the summer solstice serves as a pivotal point in our yearly journey around the sun and through the seasons and uh, our journey through the spiraling dance of the forces of light and darkness. It's a reminder of the constant spiraling motion of the seasons that nothing lasts forever and that we should enjoy beauty and abundance and good times while we have them. There's no time to stress out about insignificant details or fruitless struggles or negative thoughts. 
it reminds us that it's all about being present in the moment as much as humanly possible which is why the summer solstice is an invitation to fully embrace everything that we love about life. The sun is shining bright, the nature is green and vibrant, the weather is warm and the world is lush and filled with bountiful treasures. Now, the Mayans were keen observers of the movement of uh, the sun and the planets and the solstices and the equinoxes were very important dates for them. If you want to dive a little deeper into understanding who the Mayans were, um, you can watch the video Who Were the Original Mayans? The Mayans would hold special ceremonies on solstice dates and they actually constructed a lot of their sacred cities and temples keeping the solstices and the equinoxes in mind, such as Tulum, Chichen Itza, Uxmal. For example, at Chichen Itza, the main pyramid known as the Temple of Kukulkan, is built in such a way that during the summer solstice, the sun casts a perfect shadow on the south and west sides, looking as if it's split in two. The spring equinox in March is even more impressive on this pyramid, but we'll be talking about that um, closer to the equinox well, when I'll be making another video on this topic. Also, at Tulum Pyramid Sites, um, which is one of the um, last built by the Mayans on the Caribbean coastline, the main temple, El Castillo, was designed to align perfectly with the sun on the summer solstice. It's the largest structure on the site and during the sunrise on the summer solstice, a beam of light is shined through a series of windows into this temple. Now, regarding the energy of the day on the 20th of June yellow rhythmic star, Yellow Star is the star seed archetype, the one who opens us up to galactic wisdom and knowledge. It carries a double power, as we see here in the glyph, the power of the star, representing the connection to the spiritual realms, and the power of the seed, represented by the four dots around the star, offering us the ability to incarnate, grow, and blossom on this earth. The four seeds can be associated with the self-existing lunar tone, the fourth lunar tone, which is the power of incarnating, measuring, and giving shape to things in the physical world. This is why the yellow star is the one who incarnates galactic knowledge in this 3D reality. Yellow star is also an agent of harmony, beauty, elegance, radiance, and it teaches us how we can harmonize our being through self-acceptance and love. It helps us shine brighter by harmonizing ourselves with the physical world around us. It also helps us harmonize our personality with our soul. And it teaches us that every moment is like a blank canvas upon which we can paint our own reality. So it invites us to um, reflect on the reality that we are creating, making us understand that the outside world is a reflection of our inner world. So if we perceive disharmony in the world around us, this is because there's disharmony within. Basically, Yellow Star makes us look at all of our thoughts, our intentions, our words, our emotions, and our actions that are shaping our reality. Yellow Star, being the archetype of the artist, it reminds us that life is our biggest work of art that we will ever create. And that being said, I recommend you to also watch the video Time is Art, which is a contemplation on this topic. And for the rhythmic tone representing um, the sixth lunar tone, this lunar tone carries the power of transforming our individual self and our personality so that we can attune more deeply with the needs, wishes, and the desires of our higher self. It's the ability to connect with higher aspects within us, representing a time when we can build a more deeper connection with our higher self. It gives us the ability to organize our reality, to balance ourselves, to find our inner rhythm, and to find the balance between the higher and lower dimensions through our being. 
And let's not forget that we are in the Blue Knight wave spell, which uh, Blue Knight is the explorer of the human unconsciousness that takes us back to our inner world. He's the one that helps us discover the totality of who we are, everything that we might be hiding within. He represents the mysterious journey back to the self, revealing us our inner abyss or our inner sanctuary or both. Um, our inner world, depending on you know, the inner work that we have been doing, can either be a terrifying place filled with fears and shadows and little monsters lurking around in the corners or it can be a beautiful inner temple where we can finally rest and feel protected and at peace bathing in the light of our soul so on the summer solstice take the time to look at the reality that you are experiencing and creating for yourself open up to the galactic channels and tune into the voice of your higher self what are you painting in your reality? What are the colors that you can add to your life to make your experience more richer and more harmonious? What are the parts within you that are out of harmony with yourself and the world around you? How can you invite more balance into your life and organize your reality in order to create the world that you want for yourself? And I also feel the need to mention that with the yellow star it's not necessarily so much about generating more harmony but like i said it's about finding the inner dissonances that are keeping us from perceiving the infinite perfection and harmony of every moment you know in the spiraling dance of duality so whatever questions you might have about the dream spell calendar or if you want to explore your galactic identity through a galactic signature decoding session you can write me a message either on my Facebook page or on my email. So until the next time, wishing you a harmonious, beautiful and fruitful summer solstice and a day filled with love. In La Cache.